Hey everybody, Sydney here with The Rank Live. I'm here today because we have a huge week in girls high school hockey coming up. They're starting their postseason with section tournaments coming up this week and into the weekend. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about some of the favorites to come out of those tournaments, maybe some underdogs as well, and who you can expect to see at the XL Energy Center later this month for the girls high school state tournaments. We'll take a look at both the classes single A and double A and uh, who some of the best teams are in the state this year. So let's get started with section 1A. Now this section only has four teams in it and Albert Lee is the number one seed. They've already beaten the other three teams in the section so it seems pretty unlikely that anybody else except Albert Lee is going to be making their way to the X for the state tournament at the end of the month. So you can pretty much expect Albert Lee to come out of section 1A. In section 1AA, things are a little bit different as Lakeville South seems to be the favorite as they're the number one seed, but they did actually lose to the number two seed in Northfield earlier this year. So that might be a matchup to watch if they meet again in the section finals for this year. Uh, but otherwise, Lakeville South ranked number six in the state. They seem pretty strong and seem like they will likely be taking the section. And now let's move on to Section 2A. Section 2A is a little bit different, but uh, still a pretty clear-cut winner. Mankato East is having a really great season this year. Seems pretty likely that they will win it. The number two seed with Litchfield, Dasso Kokato. Uh, they've been having a pretty good year as well. They only lost a close game to Mankato East, so if they meet up in the section final, that could be an interesting matchup. But it seems uh, like there's a pretty good chance that Mankato East will come out of Section 2A. In Section 2 AA, things are a little bit different. This section is going to be really, really tough to come out of as we have both Minnetonka and Holy Family. Now, they're ranked number three and four in the state, and they're the number one and two seeds. So that's going to be really tough to get out of this section. They're both really, really great teams. You're going to be one watching that section because that section final matchup, pretty likely that it's going to be both of those teams. So it's going to be Min Minnetonka or Holy Family. Don't really know which one quite yet, but it's going to be an awesome matchup, that's for sure. Moving on to 3A, things might look a little bit different as New Walm has just been having a really great season this year, and it seems like they really don't have many challengers in their section. The number two seed in Laverne has played New Ulm earlier this year, and New Ulm pretty handily won that game, so it seems unlikely that anybody would be able to upset them. So it seems like New Ulm is going to be the pretty clear-cut champion for Section 3A. Moving on to Section 3 AA, this could really be anyone's section this year as we have Burnsville, Creighton, Durham Hall, and Rosemont all in the top three seeds this year. None of the teams are state ranked, but they're all having very good seasons. It's going to be interesting though because Rosemont has beaten Burnsville this year, but uh, neither of those two teams have played Creighton, Durham Hall. So it's going to be very interesting uh, and any of those top three teams could come out with the section title. Moving on to section 4A, this section is going to be very, very tough to win. It's going to be an absolute battle as Simley is the number one seed. They're ranked number five in the state. And then we have South St. Paul as the two seed, and they're ranked number 10 overall. So both really, really great teams in this section. And they've actually split their games with each other this year. So if they end up meeting in the section final, things could go either way. It could really be 50-50, but you can pretty much guarantee it's going to be South St. Paul and Simley in the section final. 4 4A. Moving on to 4 AA, things a little bit different here as Gentry is the number one seed. They've beaten three seeds Stillwater twice this year, but then the number two seed in Hill Murray has had some really good wins, but they've also lost to Stillwater this year. So it seems like Gentry would be able to get the win, but watch out for those other two teams because they're going to be likely looking for the upset and looking to take that section title. Now taking a look at section 5A, this again is going to be a really, really tough section, one of the toughest sections in single A this year. Orono is the one seed, they're ranked number two in the state, and then we have both Academy of Holy Angels and Mount West Tonka as the two and three seeds, and they're also ranked fourth and sixth in the state overall. So this is going to be a really tough section to come out of. Orono might have a little bit of an edge because they've already beaten Academy of Holy Angels earlier this year, but honestly this title could go to any of those three teams. Taking a look at 5 AA, this section might be a little bit trickier to decide who's going to come out on top. We have Maple Grove and Rogers as the one and two seed. Both are ranked in the state, five and eight, but those teams have both had a handful of losses here and there, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's an upset in this section. Centennial's the number three seed, North Red County's the four seed, so maybe keep an eye on this section because anything could really happen here.
Taking a look at Section 6A, Fergus Falls seems to be the clear winner here. They're the number one seed. They're ranked seventh overall in the state, and they've had a few strange games here and there, a few falters here and there. So it's entirely possible there could be an upset, but it seems very unlikely this point. So it seems like Fergus Falls uh, is definitely going to be the one coming out of 6A. Moving on to Section 6AA, this is going to be a huge section here in the state of Minnesota. Edina is definitely the favorite right now. They're the number one seed. They're ranked second in the state. Their only losses this year have come from undefeated Andover, and then they also lost a really close game to Minnetonka, but those are their only losses. So they've been really strong this year, but you can't count out the other teams in this section. YZ is the two seed. They're ninth ranked in the state, and then we also have a very good squad from Benilde St. Margaret's. So they're both really strong teams. They're going to be looking for that upset against Edina, but that's going to be a really tough game to pull off. But you're just going to have to wait and see who's coming out of Section 6 AA. Switching things over to Section 7A, this is going to be another just really tough section as we have number one seed Proctor Hermantown. They're ranked third in the state. And then we also have two more state ranked teams with Cloquet Esco Carlton and Duluth Marshall as the two and three seed. This section honestly could be up for grabs for anyone, but Proctor Hermantown definitely has the advantage as of right now as they've already beaten Duluth Marshall and CEC this year, but definitely don't count out those other two teams in Section 7A. Moving on to Section 7AA, Andover is going to be winning this one. I mean, unless there's a huge upset, like the upset of the year, Andover is going to be coming out of this section because they're undefeated this year. They've got a lot of talent. They've got a really awesome squad this year. And you can bet that they're going to be trying to get that state title this year. And they're probably the best contender to win the state title this year as of right now. Uh, but also don't count out Grand Rapids Greenway. They're going to be trying to pull off that upset, but it's going to be Andover coming out of 7AA for sure. And now for our last sections, we have Section 8A. This one, it's going to be going to War Road. I mean, there's really no other answer here. War Road is ranked in the state. They're the number one seed, and they've already beaten number two seed Crookston pretty handily earlier this year. So you can bet that War Road's coming out of Section 8A. Moving on to Section 8AA, this section's going to be hard to predict because Moorhead's the number one seed. Both Alexandria and Brainerd at seeds two and three, they've actually beaten the Spuds this year. So it's going to be a tight matchup here in Section 8AA to see who comes out on top, as it could really be anyone's game here for this section. And that's all we have here today for our girls' high school section tournament preview. Make sure to stay tuned to the Rank Live as we'll have updates from quite a few of these games as they happen throughout the weekend into the weekend. And we'll try and have as much state tournament coverage as we can as well towards the end of the month. That's going to be February 23rd through the 26th as the girls' high school tournament down in the XL Energy Center. So it's going to be an awesome time here for girls' high school hockey, and we'll just have to wait and see who comes out on top. If you liked this story, make sure to like and subscribe to The Rink Live on YouTube and turn on notifications for whenever we post new content. Reporting for The Rink Live, I'm Sydney Wolf.